come on, don't run away. You can't run away. Yeah. Oh no. Off we go. I bet that you wonder why yesterday's episode finished so abruptly, so with no conclusion, no real end, or no real ending. One eternity later. Now my plan for today didn't work obviously as you can see because I wanted to have a chat with you but unfortunately I was so busy during the day there was hardly time to even sit down and eat lunch properly. I did not expect this is going to happen today but at least I wasn't by myself already which is good. Now, let me just explain why yesterday's vlog finished so abruptly. I went into Cardis, obviously, to buy Apple Watch. Actually, to buy two of them. One for me, one for the wife. And as easy as that sounds, that's how difficult it is. I went into the store and I spoke with the girl asking to get me this one and this one. She took the part numbers and said, right, I'm gonna go into the warehouse and see if we have them. And straight away I thought, what? You don't know what you have? And especially with an item like that, that was weird straight away. Then she comes back saying, we don't have them unfortunately. And I'm like, okay, so do you have that one? No, maybe that one. No, what do you have then? Tell me which one of them do you have? And she says, we've got none. And at this moment I was like, are you serious? Are you really saying this to me that an electronic store doesn't have them in stock? Especially that you have them on display? And I'm like, how the hell is this possible? Anyway, she says they don't have them. Uh, they can't even order them for me and it's just some kind of a kerfuffle and I didn't even bother I just went away pissed as hell and I thought to myself that an Edinburgh car is it's not really so far away because it's just at the very entrance to Edinburgh just behind the Gogol roundabout at the very end of M8 and I'm like that will take me not more than 10 minutes to be there so I just got in the car went there straight away I walk into another Curry's and I say to the guy can I have this and this Apple watch no problem he took the part numbers went to the warehouse comes back and says we don't have them and I'm like are you serious yet again so what do you have we have none and at this moment I just said to myself this is the worst store ever I was buying in this store like all the things that I have, all hard drives, all the laptops that I ever had, they were literally from Caris or PC World which are now the same. And to hear something like that from them, that they don't have a product which is one of the most expensive that they can have from like you know personal kind of mobile device kind of thing and they don't have it. And I would say if that was even Motorola Gen 1 or Apple Watch Gen 1, I can understand that. But the latest one, Gen 2, that, that's really like, what, several months old and you don't have them? 
What kind of a store is that? So I asked the guy, can they order them for me so they will be just delivered to the store, I come in the next day, collect them, pay, walk out. No. Well, I, whoa, what? No, they can't actually even order them for me so they can come into the store and I can collect them. All I can do is to order them online by myself and pay for them, then they can come into the store. Okay, that's fine. Weird, anyway. So after several minutes of not arguing, but trying to figure out what the hell is going on, that they cannot even order something from the main warehouse for the customer that wants to buy it, I just said to myself, right, let's leave it and I'll just do it online. So I sat in the car, I fired up my phone, and I just said to myself, okay, let's do it on the phone right now. So I started just flicking through the Curry's website, got two watches that I wanted. I wanted to have them delivered to the store so I can collect them. But unfortunately that's impossible, even when you order on the website. The only way you can have them is just to pay for them and have them delivered to your house or work or anyway, just to, uh, to an address that you will actually point. And that's something that, again, just astounds me. How this is possible that even ordering online and paying for this, this cannot be delivered to the store for my convenience to, to collect. If I am at work and there is absolutely no chance for this to be delivered to me because of the way my work is or things that I do, it's just impossible and I want to collect it straight away without having to wait for the courier or go back to the post office and just simply collect it from the store, that's impossible. It has to be delivered to the address that you point out. Honestly, I know that nobody from Curtis will watch this and nobody cares, but Curtis, WTF are you doing? This is just completely unacceptable to do this to your clients. This is just beyond stupidity and beyond being a total ass. Please explain this to me. How the hell your employees are unable to order something for a customer who is paying for this item or items in my case? It's not that I want to steal it. It's not that I want to say, no, no, thank you. You can take it back. I won't buy it. I can even pay for it in advance. But why you are unable to order it for me to collect from your store? Honestly, eventually today I got it all sorted and they will be delivered to my work tomorrow before 12 o'clock. But the whole kerfuffle, the whole hustle with it, it's just something I would never ever expect from somebody like Curtis. Now, I know that I said this morning that this whole episode will be just a huge rant, but this is not something I really want to do. I don't really like doing rants. I'm not a person that, you know, does rants all the time and is unhappy with everything and constantly has problems with everybody around them. Absolutely nothing like that. It's just that that situation that after, you know, years and years of, let's call it, working with those people by buying things from them, suddenly something went wrong and they are unable to help me in any way. They couldn't do anything and that literally just astounds me how a customer service can be so bad after what I experienced was absolutely five-star, stellar, 100% fantastic.